Hello guys, this is Lucas, your Kartra consultant. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a membership site and to link it to your different products you create. Remember that in this case, we are building a funnel which is offering a six-week course, which is the main product, and then a two premium week additional as an upsell that is worth $200. So in this video, I'm going to create the full membership site. I'm going to create the access level so that uh, the content is accessible for some, but not for all, depending on what they purchase. At the end, I will also link my product to the, I will link the membership to both products I created in the previous video. So let's go right into Kartra and see how this works. Well, the first thing that you have to do is to go to my membership. I'm sure that sounds pretty obvious, right? So now you hit the green button over here, which is uh, create new membership. And then you will see the emerging window, a pop-up window, and you push course, name it this way for practicality reasons. And now this will go to the membership configuration, which if you look at it, is very similar to my forms and um, my product configuration, which is a very particular characteristic of Genesis Digital. So right here, you choose the course image. In this case, I'm going to pick the one I, I chose for my, for my products. Course name, I will put confirm here. Course description, just for the sake of simplicity. The sales promotional page, this is useful, for instance, when somebody gets to the login URL and it's not a member, they will be led to the sales page in this case so that they actually purchase our product. So the sales promotional page, if you hit here, is where you pitch, promote, or encourage your user to join this membership program. So it's exactly the video sales page. I hit save and I have the basic info stage covered. I'm gonna hit save and next. And here I'm gonna log into the membership builder and create the membership site. So I'm gonna press this button over here. And now I'm in the membership builder. So as you see, it works with the drag and drop like when you are creating a page, but you first need to understand the logic with, behind uh, membership in Kartra. First, you need to consider three main structures. Over here, you will find the um, menu bar, which is the navigational menu, in which you put the categories of this, um, of this membership. Think of a membership like a blog page or a blog website, which has different pages or categories and different posts that belong to those categories. In this case, it's exactly the same. This rectangle over here is called the post section. Here is where you put the post content, the, the titles, images, uh, videos, uh, boxes, audio, audio files, etc. I'm gonna show you right now how it works. This rectangle to the left is the sidebar. The sidebar, you name the host, you also can put uh, your products and even static Banners. This will always be visible for, for all your members, regardless of which category you are. So I'm going to proceed and add the new, uh, a category here. I will simply click it, drag it, and drop it over the navigational menu. In this case, it's not working. Let me try again. New category. And now, yes. I simply drag and drop over the navigation menu. Of course, if I try to drop a, a category in the sidebar on the post, it won't be um, available, I wouldn't be able to do so because it's not where it belongs. So a category can include a subcategory or no subcategories. In that case, you will just include post. So in this case, a category will be equal to a week. In this case, it's week one. I'm not planning to add any subcategory, so I hit save. And once I hit save, I'm now in the subcategory um, in the subcategory section. And I have to include a new post. Here's a drag a new post over here. So this pencil suddenly becomes available because I'm in the week um, in the week page. So I simply click, drag, and drop. I'm gonna put um, week one. Hit save. And here I go. If I hover over week one, I will see this uh, post post one coming up here in the description, which is of course the post name and the post description. And here I have the option of editing the post. I'm not gonna cover much what you can do, but it's simply, there are many options here. You can add uh, links box, uh, remember box, 
um, you can simply keep, click over here and remember that when you include images right over here or a video you will have to already upload the, the image and then include a link if you want or not in this case well I'm gonna show you so that you can see how it works actually I hit browse and I'm gonna pick the same image I use for the membership in this case is this image over here and once it gets uploaded into Kartra I can select how much uh, how large I want to I want it to be and I can include a, a link if I wish when I hit save I have my image over here and then of course by hitting this pencil here I can edit there are many things more there are many additional things that you can add but let's not focus too much on it so that we don't waste your valuable time I'm gonna cover the sidebar content that I didn't add any <clears throat> you have three options one include the host which of course in this case is most likely to be you when you click host over here you will find your face and your name of course you can hit the pencil over here change the image change the name and even include some URLs here if you wish to your social media profiles then you can choose a banner which is an image of course you can go on top or below the host the host um, square you of course have to upload an image in this case suppose I'm uploading the same image over here and um, you can include a link so for instance you can include an image that says hey um, in fact you are it's mandatory to include a URL you cannot not include it in this case I'm gonna put my website I hit save I have the image over here if I click open a new tab I will go to my my website in this case I'm gonna just delete it I don't want it remember that the sidebar is gonna always be visible regardless of what category or home page or home you or either you're in a category or in the home page um, finally you can also include the product here product that you have configured in Kartra simply select which one you want to include in this case most surely you won't have any so it's not very useful in, in the beginning so well this is how a membership works I'm gonna proceed and add uh, six uh, five more weeks sorry I'm gonna add seven more weeks because I want to have the, the full eight weeks and then I'm gonna exit and continue configuring the membership so I'm gonna skip so that I don't make the video too long well I have now created the remaining weeks from week 2 to week 8 and now I created a post of course I was very generic with them just because I want to show you how um, cultural membership works and then you can create your own content but before I proceed there's one more thing I need to mention which is the home page the home page is gonna be, be visible for anyone regardless what membership access they have and this is always edited in the, this is always edited as a post you cannot add subcategories or more posts to it it's like one uh, category which is at the same time one post and it's always visible over there there's not much thing that you can do here so well, once you are satisfied with the full membership design remember you have to build everything all the content you just build it because then you will limit them with the we will limit the content and the access in the in a previous in the following stages and i'm going to show you right now so make sure to build everything you hit the actions button as in with the pages but in this case you will choose save and exit here you will be prompt to um, select the page template you the page the membership template you would like to use of course there are many designs here you have a preview the first one is like the one we have been building it's like exactly the same the same look um, but you can you can choose different uh, templates in this case I'm gonna choose this one in particular and it's gonna be in color gray black black gray uh, once I'm satisfied I can hit preview or save and exit which is our case now we are back in the membership configurations when I hit save and next the following stage I can moderate uh, I can enable comments in this case by default they are disabled and this one and this following stage is very important because this is the membership access level here you will find all your categories and all your posts belonging to the categories uh, in this case it's very basic what I've done I just created a category and a post for each uh, for each category and I have only one access level which is standard by default 
I want to create, I want to rename this one first. It's going to be the sick week. And I'm going to add a, and the next access level, which of course is going to be the eight weeks, which is the, which includes the upsell. Once I create this by default, all the posts will be disabled. I'm just turning them on by hitting the toggle over here. And I have two access levels with access to all the content. But actually, for the sick week, in this case, let me add the S. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, I want to disable week 7 and week 8. Because, of course, they haven't paid for this. So this makes sense. If not, it will be redundant to have two uh, access levels with the same actual level. So the same ac uh, um, access, sorry. So I'm satisfied with this. I want to provide instant access. Here I can choose uh, to drip the content, for instance, uh, if, if I don't want to be instant. For instance, I can choose um, to make the content available after sending days after sign up or on a specific date if I want, not the case, so I'm going to hit save. And here is very important how I decide to manage log posts. So, for instance, when this is valid for week 7 and week 8, which is those who pay for the main course, but do not take the, the upsell offer. In this case, I'm going to choose to not display um, those weeks so that they are not like uh, even visible in the navigation menu. So when they log into the, the membership, they will see all the weeks up to week 6, but not week 7 or week 8. I have other options here, like choosing uh, to display it, to display week 7 and week 8, but keep it unclickable. In, this, in that case, they will see week 7 and week 8, but they won't be able to click. And the third option, which is quite popular, is to display post and post a teaser window. In this case, you can choose any of these pre-built templates. And you, in this case, I have some pre-built templates, so that's why I have more options. But originally, there are six uh, templates to choose from, and you can prompt them to um, purchase the content if you want. In this case, I'm not going to show them. I'm just going to hide it from them. I'm not going to make it available because I want to make that a one-time offer. If they don't check it, they won't, uh, they won't have access. Uh, once I'm happy with the access level and the locked post, I will hit save and next. In this progress stage, I'm going to choose whether I'm forcing linear progression or I'm not forcing it. And also, by allowing some sort of progression to be visible, I'm also allowing uh, progress bar to be fixed at the bottom. When you're forcing linear progression, it means that they cannot move forward in the program unless they consume the first uh, pieces of content. In this case, we are talking about a six-week or an eight-week program. If I'm forcing linear progression, my users won't be able to see week two if they haven't previously consumed week one. And this will be um, evident when they see the, the progress bar. So when you are not forcing linear progression, for instance, you can allow them to complete, for instance, in this case, uh, week 4 without consuming week 2 and week 3. That will depend entirely up to you. In this case, I don't want to display the progress bar nor force any kind of progression. I will hit save. The help desk, if I have configured it, I can uh, enable it and link it over here, but we haven't created it, at least not yet. So we arrive to the welcome stage. This is very important because this is the email that, that our customers will get after they purchase the product. This email is very important because it will contain the credentials that they will need to log into the platform. So here you will have the option to set the sender name uh, from what email you will be sending the, um, the email or any email you send within Kartra. The reply to email is the email they, are, they will reply to if they hit the reply button on their email client. Since this, I'm satisfied with this information over here, I'm going to hit save. So once that is confirmed, you get the welcome message and you can configure it um, right over here. In this case, this is the um, first line you edit is the subject. This is the, the preview text is what, um, it's a short summary of the email content. And over here, you can actually edit the email. This is actually useful. What I'm going to show you now, what I'm going to explain you now, in other words, 
gonna be useful for any email or communication that you wanna send from Kartra. It's either you are sending uh, an individual broadcast, that is an individual email, or in the next video when we set the emails, the logic is exactly the same. Here you have the canvas where you actually write the email. There's not much, there's much not, there's, there isn't much novelty over there of how you configure it. You simply type the email. And you have the dynamic variables over here, which is fields that are actually updated. If you see here, first name, you might, real, might, you might already realize that it will update according the lead name, whatever he put in the field name. So this will update automatically. And as well as first name, you have other dynamic fields like last name, email address, date join. To be honest, I don't find them to be super useful, but you might actually find it for some purpose they are there. Um, in my own experience, I tend to use only first name, to be honest. But in this case, there is a particularity that I want to mention because we are sending a welcome email regarding the membership they have just subscribed to. So we have other kind of dynamic variables that we should look into that you might not find in a regular email because you don't need them. In this case, is membership, login page, username, password, and access level. Those are dynamic variables specific to memberships. So in this case, I am welcoming to the portal the name of the lead, which of course is a regular dynamic variable. And then I'm saying something like, here are your login credentials. And I'm saying this is the login page, and I'm using the dynamic variable login page, which in this case is going to be the membership URL. Of course, you can. Uh, there is a default URL that uh, Kartra assigns to your membership when you create them but you can link it to your domain. So for instance, this will have a generic URL by culture, but then I'm gonna include, I'm gonna link my domain to it, and I'm gonna put a specific name to that membership access page, and it will be updated automatically here, so I don't have to worry about it. Then the login address, which is the address, um, which is the user that your list will need to log in, is the login email. If this is the dynamic variable you are using, you, are, you will be using over here. And the login password is the login password dynamic variable. It's pretty intuitive over here. Um, this will be a self, an automatically generated password by Kartra. So it's not like you have to invent it. And finally, you can also add the access level in case it makes sense for you. Of course, you might find that when you are creating your membership in Kartra, the text will differ from the text you are seeing here. And I'm gonna hit save because I'm satisfied with the content of my email. I'm gonna hit save once more. I have the possibility of assigning tags, subscribe to leads, subscribe to sequences or advanced automations. In this case, I'm not gonna choose, I'm not gonna change everything, anything from here. So I'm gonna hit save and next and my membership is already created. So here it says, what's next? Link this membership portal to a product, which is what actually what we need to do. So I'm going to go right over here and take the advantage of the shortcut over here. And I go, I'm not going to click go to my products. I have the secret course here already, and I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to link the secret program with the access level one and the two premium weeks with the access level two, which of course uh, have all the content available. So I'm going to hit edit over here and edit product. And I will go to the post sell section. So now that I'm in the post sell section, I'm going to change the accessing your product content. Remember that when we created the product, I set no access page because the membership was not created. Well, now that the membership is created, I'm going to, for both price points, because this is the main product, I'm going to link to the course name, which I named the... The, the, the membership and I'm gonna set the access level six week because it's a main product I'm gonna hit save and next and I'm already done over here so finish the product is complete I'm gonna go back to product and I'm gonna skip directly to the post uh, sale section for the two weeks uh, two premium weeks well I am finally in the post sale stage I'm gonna go to the accessing your products section, hit change, I'm gonna click Kartra membership, course name, and the eight week because this is the upsell product. I'm gonna hit save and I'm done here. I finish this product configuration. 
And this is the end of this video. Um, I hope you find it useful. I have created the membership site. I have created the different Lex access levels for the six week and the eight week um, programs. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create the sequences and a series of automation that will allow us to have this funnel fully built. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up uh, button. And if you have any question, just let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Thanks.